take you to our school watch this morning. The instability of the pandemic, as we know, causing a lot of unpredictability and challenges for our educators. And News 5 is highlighting the teachers who have found some new ways to overcome and be able to support their students. Renee Skinner joining us live this morning with more on this. Good morning, Renee. That's right, Bree. Good morning. And no doubt about it, our teachers are going through so much right now. And we here at News 5 wanted to check in with our favorite educators who are making moves in the classroom to change things and make things easier for their students. And you're about to meet one of them. Okay, Renee, how are you doing? Doing good. Give me a thumb -a meter. Ooh, doo -doo. All right. All right. How are you guys doing out here? It's a back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. Oh yeah, it's quite the juggling act. You have just met Shannon Glenn. She's one of our favorite teachers and you just heard her describe to me what it's like to have an in-person and virtual class at the same time. That's what her fourth grade class is like every day. Mrs. Shannon Glenn is a general music teacher at Chippewa Elementary for District 11. One of the things that stuck out about our interview is Mrs. Glenn says that there's a lot of duality that teachers face. She teaches several different age groups throughout the day mentally we're just exhausted because it's constant um no don't do that because we can't do like we did last year because we have to be COVID aware we are both sides um i think they sometimes forget that we are more than a teacher we are also a wife we have children Now, Mrs. Glenn says she feels her district has gotten into a pretty good routine. Five minutes before each class, the teachers disinfect their workstations and supplies. And then when the students arrive, they also wash their hands while being socially distant. And then when it's lunchtime, Glenn picks up her kids from the lunch area at separate times from other classrooms so they're not cross-contaminated. So she's got a lot going on throughout her day. Mrs. Glenn says she can't wait for the day where she can actually sing in her music class because we are still at a point where kids are humming in their music classes according to those CDC guidelines. But for more on Mrs. Glenn's story, we want you to visit our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Renee Skinner, News 5.